Hey, so what's going on everybody? We are back here at the beginning actually of where we started our RV journey uh, in 2018. It's now 2019 in January. We have a gorgeous spot here at Rock Springs in Black Canyon, Arizona. Got to check because we always call it the wrong thing. But uh, here's our setup. And uh, it's just been a fantastic year. We're excited to document our 2018 for y'all. And uh, we look forward to sharing everything with you because we've got a lot to share. Uh, we hit over 20 national parks in the course of about six months and um, just some fantastic, amazing experiences. So we look forward to having you come along for the ride. So we'll see you down the road. Wait just a second. This is 2019 when you're watching this. This all happened in 2018. So let's go back a little bit last year where we actually got started with this journey getting our truck. So we have, in a very short period of time, upgraded our vehicle from Groovy, which has been a very awesome vehicle for us for the last five months, to now going to a slightly different vehicle that doesn't have a hatchback yet it still has four doors. So what we're gonna be able to do is haul an RV with this bad mamma jamma. Look at that, it's dark, but it is beautiful. Welcome to F-150 World. So the RV was in storage for about a month before we were ready to leave. We're super excited to be RV newbies, can you tell? After storing it though, the previous owner gave us a fairly thorough tour of the trailer, showing us the ins and outs of how things functioned and how the setup should be. It actually reminded us of a smaller scale pre-delivery inspection, a PDI if you will. Very, very helpful. decided to do was have a bed liner installed since we knew we'd probably have the truck for a short period of time and this would help prevent protect the value of the truck. So wanted a nice tonneau cover so after doing some comparison shopping we purchased a tri-fold hard top cover. As you can see installation was relatively simple uh, just using basic tools and since the trailer storage was limited, the cover does a great job of protecting what's in the bed because there's a lot of stuff back there. And it also gives easy access to the contents by simply pulling a cable and folding it back. Very convenient and very much worth the install. Finally, with the addition of some conveniences, as well as adding uh, a peace of mind security to help protect our investment, this brings us back to Black Canyon at Rock City Cafe area, where we started our full-time RV adventure.
chair set up. There was all level. It was disconnected. Got our own picnic table. On the grassy knoll area. Got nice neighbors. Little R pod there. We got everything hooked up. Surge protection action. Protection action. So, uh, stinky stinky. Electric, water. Everything's ready to rock. Let's do this. Hey, good morning. We are at Thousand Trails. Just kind of walked down a path here and uh, found ourselves over here at this beautiful river. Water's moving along pretty fast. Hey, good morning, honey. Good morning. Before we moved to Arizona, we thought it was all just desert. <laughs> and uh, obviously we found out quickly it wasn't. And it's pretty it's pretty <laughs> awesome. yeah, so who would have who would have thunk it that the first vineyard we've ever been to would be in Arizona. So we are in Cottonwood, Arizona. Um, actually right next to our campground. So pretty damn cool and uh, excited to explore California and Washington vineyards and all these different things. But I uh, just wanted to share that even in Arizona, you can uh, grow things <laughs> and uh, some delicious wine. Classically, do in the south portion of the Rhone Valley in France. This is Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedre, and it's predominantly going to be Grenache. It keeps for a really nice and light table red. This is the whole reason why we have a horse in our logo. We are mimicking a Cote de Rhone and spelling it as if it's the Cote de Horse, R O A N.
this is something so exciting to have out on our standard red flight and combo flight menu right now, our Shiraz Guns and Kisses. What Sam Pillsbury is doing here is he's mimicking what's referred to as a coat roti style of winemaking. So again, mimicking this French style of winemaking. He loves their approach to winemaking. This is 97% Shiraz. And in the same barrel, he co-fermented 1.5% Vignet, a white varietal, and 1.5% Symphony, which comes from Northern California. What Vignet will do over the aging process, when you lay this bottle down and let it grow up, so to speak, Vignet is going to add to the flavor on the palate, whereas everything that that Symphony varietal touches just makes our pleasant nose, so our nose um, experience so much more pleasant. So it's a very, very beautiful aromatic and over aging you're just gonna get best of both worlds there. so that is guns and kisses most recent recipient of double gold from the San Francisco Chronicle Tonto Natural Bridge. Looking up at the ceiling. Say hi. Hi. And what she's actually looking up at is way up there. Coming from there. And it goes all the way back to the other side. This is a natural bridge that's formed by these travertine rocks just naturally formed from calcium carbonate. Which I think is the same stuff they put in soda, pop, whatever you guys call it, I don't know. And crop the rattlesnake and they call the ranger. So you can take it to a better area instead of this pedestrian path.
Look what happened. Yeah. <laughs>